Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to set and even update your store's logo in Lightspeed POS. I've got a couple of quick tips for you on how your logo should be designed. Let's pop over to Photoshop. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your logo is approximately a thousand pixels wide. I think Lightspeed says their maximum is 1080, but I just go with a thousand and it squishes it down if it needs to, and it looks really good. Uh, you're also going to want to make sure that unless you have a reason for it, that there's no dead space on the top or bottom of your logo. So unless there's a design element you're trying to achieve, make sure that the top and the bottom of your canvas are right next to the text and there's not much space. That goes for the sides and the top. So my last tip is just that you save this as a PNG with a transparent background. And that's really just from a design standpoint uh, for certain places that the logo is going to show up. It just looks better if it's got a transparent background. Whatever your logo is, however it's designed, it's no big deal if you don't want to change it. Uh, this is just my recommendations. You can save it whatever you need to save it as. So let's pop back over to Lightspeed. You're going to want to click on settings and then look for company branding. That's in the top right corner. Click on company branding. If you're using the Lightspeed POS app, uh, you can set a different background image. My quick tip here is just play around with different sizings with the image uh, until you get something that you really like on your iPad. So we'll just keep the generic background image here. We're gonna update the logo. Go ahead and click on logo, and you're gonna see you can upload the logo. There's also a tips and tricks if you wanna check out Lightspeed's recommendations. So you can either click upload logo and uh, find your file, or you can just drag and drop if that's easier. So there we go, there's my uh, logo. You'll notice that the text is black and the background image has kind of a dark hue. If you're in that situation, come up here and click invert color on screen. That'll just change it from black to white. Go ahead with whatever you're happy with. I'll stick with white. And just to show you how to update, if you have a new logo or a new design that you want to put in, you have to come over here and click remove logo. That's going to take it out. And then you can go ahead and put your new logo in. Lightspeed's also going to give you this example of how your logo is going to show on an email. You can also assume that this is how it's going to look like on a receipt uh, or a work order, for example. Um, the notes or the line items or whatever's on that paper document will show up in this area here. So this just shows you how it's going to look. Again, like I said, if you have white space on the top or the bottom of your logo, it's going to push that area down. It's going to look like there's a big white space there. So that's the only reason that I recommended uh, having the height of your canvas and your logo make sense for how your logo is going to appear uh, within Lightspeed. So anyways, when you're happy with things, click done. And voila, now when you go and make a sale, let's just do one real quick. Put in a miscellaneous item, finish the sale. And now you can see how it's gonna look on your receipts. You'll also notice on the lock screen that the logo has been updated here as well. So that's how you deal with setting or updating your logo within Lightspeed POS. My very last tip is simply that if you have multiple logos for multiple stores, you're gonna have to go here and click contact support. Lightspeed's gonna have to be involved in setting that up for you to make sure that the proper logo appears on the proper documents. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. I really hope it brought you some sort of value. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.